fellow students of class 8. This is my second video of chapter 4, Verb Expressing the Future. As we all know that future tense has its four forms, that is simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. In my last video, I have explained you simple future and future continuous. Today, I will be doing future perfect. What is future perfect? Future perfect tense expresses an action that will happen before another event in the future. It's all talking about future that has not yet taken place. And it's talking about the future at that very moment of time when your action will be completed. Now let's come to the structure of the sentence. The structure of the sentence in future perfect will be subject plus will have plus v3 plus object. As we all know that will have is the auxiliary verb and v3 of the main verb. Now let's come to the example. Example of affirmative sentence. He will have played tennis by the time you arrived. In future, it has not yet taken place. In future, he will have played tennis by the time you arrive. That means his completion of playing tennis will occur in the future when you will arrive. Now let's come to the negative sentence. As you all know that in negative sentence, you need to add negative word that is not. And not will be placed between the two auxiliary verbs that is will and have. So he will not have played tennis by the time you arrive. Now let's come to interrogative sentence. As you all know that in interrogative sentence, first the auxiliary verb will come, then the subject and then have the auxiliary verb with the main verb that is V3 form of the main verb will come and then the object of the sentence. So the sentence will form, will he have played tennis by the time you arrive and you need to put question mark that is punctuation very important now let's come to future perfect continuous what is future perfect continuous future perfect continuous is an action which will happen which will begin before a given moment in the future will continue up to that moment and will be in progress even at that moment. That means will continue up until a point in the future. So it will go on until some point in the future. Now the structure of the sentence will be subject plus will have been plus ing form of the verb plus object. Now see the structure very very carefully. Now we are going to form affirmative sentence. He will have been playing tennis for two hours. That is affirmative sentence. So will have been playing. See the structure of the sentence. First will have been auxiliary verb and then the ing form of the main verb and then the object. Let's come to the negative sentence. Negative sentence how it has been used. Not will then not have been playing tennis for two hours. So, not will come between the two auxiliary verbs. Will not have been playing. Now, let's come to the interrogative sentence. First, the auxiliary verb will, then the subject, and then have been playing, then object for two hours, then question mark. So, the sentence formation will be, will he have been playing tennis for two hours? And then we are going to place punctuation, that is question mark, very very important i have been telling you that punctuation in english is very important without punctuation your sentence is incomplete so that's all for today